Each one of us should have an upward mentor. My upward mentor is a gentleman by the name of Dallas Billington. His grandfather was one of those preachers that, man, he would sling it and he would bring it. But the one thing that he always said, and Dallas taught me, was whenever he points one finger here, there were three more pointing back to him. So that when he would share a message, it wasn't just for the congregation, it was also for the guy that was preaching the message. If you look at Adam and Eve, the first thing that they did, there was things that they were afraid of. And then they would run and hide when they missed the mark with God. And the next thing that they did, the next thing they chose to do, was to do what we call the blame game. God came before them and said, hey, why did you do this? How did you know that you're naked? How did you know these things were going on? And how is it you're seeing good and evil? And Adam, rather than fessing up, blamed the woman. And then when he went to the woman, she blamed the serpent. And I believe when that happened, God's heart just broke. See, in each one of us, we have a choice to make on whether or not we want to truly admit that what we're doing is wrong. Or are we just going to continue to go through life every single day and blame the person next to us, or blame people around us, or blame society, or blame you fill in the blank? It's the blame game. It's your game. What is it you're doing? How are you playing that game? God just wants us to take accountability. He wants us to take responsibility for what it is that we're doing. And yet over and over, we continue to blame. I know you're fearful. I know you're hiding. I know that we want to blame. But don't you want to make that turn? I think we all do. We'll talk more about that tomorrow.